This video is about、uh, kinematics. Find the acceleration and the displacement from one hour to two hours. From the given graph, you could say the velocity is a linear function. As we know, acceleration equals the derivative of velocity. Since the velocity is a linear function, therefore acceleration will be the slope. How you figure out the slope? We will do rise over run. For rise is one, two, three, four, four times. Look at the skill. Each unit stand for ten, so we have forty. For the run part, you have two units times each unit stand for zero point five for x axis, so you get one. Therefore, you will get forty over. One for acceleration equals forty kilometer over hour square. In other words, acceleration is a, a constant. One, the velocity is a linear function. The displacement will be equals integral from. A, One to two. Velocity function, then dt. We know the integral is a assigned area closed by curve and x axis. So, for the displacement in this graph, we can show the area like this. This will be trapezoid. Here is a forty. This will be eighty. So you will get one half times one times because the height here is one. Forty plus eighty equals. One half times one twenty equals sixty kilometers. Analyze this formula here. You can write down the displacement function equals one half times time times forty means. The initial velocity plus eighty. That is the、uh, the final velocity. So we can use the、uh, v o plus、uh, v f. And、uh, one half v o plus v f、uh, will be the average、uh, velocity. Times、uh, t. Therefore, when acceleration is、uh, a constant, for the displacement, you can use、uh, this formula to figure out. Let's go to practice one. A rocket is traveling in a straight line. With an initial velocity of one hundred forty meter per second, it accelerates to a new velocity of five hundred meter per second in two stages. During the first stage, its acceleration after t seconds is given by this function. When T is between zero to k. Find an expression for the velocity 
of the rocket during the first stage. We know the velocity function will be integral of acceleration dt. So you will get 240 sine 2t dt. 240 is the coefficient times. Integral of a sine function will be negative or cosine. Here's a 2t. Then multiply by 1 over a, that is 1 over 2, then plus c. We organize, you will get the negative 120 cosine 2t plus c. That's the velocity function. According to the given information, we know the initial velocity is 140 meter per second. In other words, v of 0 equals 140. Therefore, we got v of 0 equals negative 120 cosine 2 times 0, then plus c equals 140. Cosine 0 will be 1, so you get the negative 120 plus c equals 140. Then you add 140 both sides, you will get 260. Therefore, for velocity function equals negative 120 cosine 2t plus 260. Go to 1b. The first stage continues for k seconds until the velocity of the rocket reaches 375 meter per second. Find the distance that the rocket travels during the first stage. First of all, you need to set up a velocity function equals 375. So you will set up a negative 120 cosine 2t plus 260 equals 375. Then you can use a graphing calculator like this to figure out uh, t. First of all, we will put a uh, velocity function negative 120 cosine 2x uh, plus uh, 260 into this uh, y1. For the y2, I will do alpha trace y1 minus 375. So I just need to get uh, the 0 for y2. I will unhighlight this y1 so that the graph won't show the y1. For the y2, we know the time is a uh, from 0, so I will put this one as 0. But since this is a trig function, the maximum I will put the 2 pi. Scale, let's do pi over 2. Then I go to graph. Remember, I just need this 0. The first zero will be the solution because in this situation, the velocity didn't reverse. So we go to second trace, zero, that's two. Left bound will be zero. Right bound, we know this is a pi over two. So let's do pi over 2 is a right bound, then enter, enter, 
you will get 1.43 for k. Do you get the t equals 1.43 second? Then the distance equals integral from 0 to 1.43 absolute value was velocity function dt. I will show you use a graphing calculator. We know the y1 is a velocity function. So for the distance, I will do math 9 from 0 to 1.43. Math, absolute value. Alpha trees get the y1. Dx, enter. You will get the 355 as the three significant figures. Equals the 355 meters. Let's go to C. During the second stage, the rocket accelerates at a constant rate. The distance which the rocket travels during the second stage is the same as the distance it traveled during the first stage. Find the total time taken for the two stages. For the first stage, we already got the time is 1.43 seconds. According to this uh, given information, we know for the second stage, the acceleration is a constant, which means uh, we can use uh, this uh, formula. A displacement equals one half v zero plus uh, vf. That means uh, initial velocity plus uh, final velocity times uh, t. Since uh, the two stages, they have the same uh, distance, that will be 355 equals one half. The initial velocity for the second stage will be 375. The final velocity is uh, 500, then times t. You will figure out uh, this t equals 2 times uh, 355 divided by 875. You will get the t equals. 0 0.811 seconds. So the total time taken for the two stages, uh, let's do the t total equals 1.43 plus 0 0.811 equals 2.24 seconds.